we know what all kids need. You know, they need a sense of security. They need some people there in their lives every day. But that does not ever happen to a child in foster care. They don't know from one day to the next who they're going to be living with, where they're going to be living. And I can't think of anything worse for a child. Really, I can't. Hope Meadows is an intergenerational neighborhood um, that has a purpose. The purpose of this neighborhood is to support families who uh, are adopting up to three or four children from the foster care system. Here at Hope Meadows, there are about 80 units. At the current time, we have 10 family units, and the rest of the units are for senior citizens. You know, if there's a problem or a crisis or something, you can run right next door, you've got somebody. It's just like we're all one big family. And they talk about the seniors being grandparents for the kids, but they have um, filled the void in my life. So they not only help the kids, you know, they're there for all of us. It's like everybody out here has adopted somebody. May not be adopted on paper and legally, but we've adopted, you know, and that, that's what it's about. I'm not sure how many grandparents we have, but everyone out here is my grandparent. The seniors are basically my favorite part because they do a lot of stuff for us. They take us out to lunch. They, like, buy us toys. They do a lot of stuff for me. They usually help us on our homework, too. They used to be tutors, so we can come to them and help, ask for any help. And then when they need some help, we, we come and help them. This isn't to knock the way other people like to retire. You know, good for them. If they want to sit and play cards and swim all day, that's their uh, prerogative. I, I, I wouldn't like that. I, I wouldn't even know. Mm -mm. In the retirement home, I, w I was in there for therapy. And that's a zoo. Don't <laughs> For me, to go to, say, a retirement home, I would live probably two months. Truly, I would just shrivel up and die because I find the kids so, the kids are, the, I mean, I love them. Being from an African background, I realized the importance of having so many generations input into children and just to really have the concept of a village raising a child is really important to me, something that I observed back home and it's amazing to see it here with all the resources that the United States has. There used to be an extended family where you could go talk to your grandmother, your grandfather, you know, aunts and uncles and, and the kids are the ones that said grandpa and grandma. And you can be out to eat somewhere, and all of a sudden somebody will say, oh, Grandma. And here comes a little black child up to talk to you. They take us to their heart. Yeah, it's wonderful. You get, I think you get more out of it than they do really tell you the truth. See, that's what's nice about being a grandmother. This idea of this purposeful intergenerational community where it evolves that all the generations begin to take care of each other instead of a top-down, you know, administration telling everybody what to do, matching kids with seniors, etc. This this emerges this way. Um, I think the time has come in this country where people are hungry for really more meaningful relationships with neighbors. There's an automatic sense of looking out for each other. So in that case, the senior benefits. And then I think about the kids that come here that need more than one-on-one -on -one in school attention. So of course the kids benefit, but then I think of the parents too and just the things they're learning about their own capacity um, as far as loving and learning how to be patient. All around between children, parents, and seniors, it's just a hard call. I often joke with everybody that I get the most out of it. It never occurred to me that we were doing anything abnormal at all in terms of policy. But every week we get at least one call from somebody somewhere in this country and sometimes in other countries. Last week it was from Australia. Um, and they are interested in 
seeing if they could replicate this program. I think it's an excellent um, opportunity for different cities to really take on this idea. You have a lot of kids that are neglected, a lot of kids that aren't being taken care of, um, a lot of kids that are entering foster care systems, and they all can't come to Rantoul. <laughs> and so I just think this idea everywhere in every town would be excellent. So I'm all about the replication process. The current grant that we have from Kellogg is to establish a center to provide technical assistance nationwide. One of the things that we can do is really begin to think about how we can take this model and begin to apply it to other social problems. If we can create these uh, contained neighborhoods, I think we can address a multitude of social problems that we've never been able to crack.